today's topic is buyback of shares of a company and its impact on share market you know that corporate sectors they are operating in different ways and one of the important operation is buyback of its own shares according to the companies act 1956 section 77 previously buyback of share was not permissible by a company unless and until they are getting a special permission from the court for its reduction of share capital but afterwards in 1999 with the amendment of companies act the company has got empowered that they can buy back its own share through either in the open market operation or through tender and now after the company's newly created act 1913 uh, sorry 2013 the sections 67 68 69 and 70 deals with the total operation of buyback of shares of a company and again i'm telling you company now can buy back its own share through two routes number one in the open market that is in the secondary market the company can buy back its own share or through tender that is company can call tender to the existing shareholders and they can give a particular price buyback price that is called buyback price and at that price the shareholders they can tender that is they can give their option to buy uh, to sell their shares to the company and in that case company will buy those shares from the shareholders and give the cash back to the shareholders now you see some conditions are there for buying back of shares by the company what are those conditions number one the shares must be fully paid up number two the company can buy back those shares either from the profits of the company which would otherwise be available for distribution as dividend or from the proceeds of fresh issue of shares here share means equity share or preference shares but not the debenture and some other specified securities and next condition that if the shares are bought back by utilizing the profits of the company or free reserves then an amount equal to the nominal value of the shares bought back must be transferred to capital redemption reserve account and later from this capital redemption reserve account the money can be utilized for issuing fully paid bonus shares and sometimes you know the shares can be bought back by the companies at premium and the premium that amount can be taken either from the securities premium account or from the free reserves and now the question may arise among the students that what is called free reserves free reserve means that profit from where company can declare dividend like general reserve reserve fund PL account credit balance and even capital reserve if the capital reserve is earned in terms of cash that is the profit is realized in cash and that profit is transferred to the capital reserve then that portion of capital profit also can be utilized for buying back of shares and for example i'm giving you like in case of uh, reissue of shares at a profit reissue of forfeited shares and that profit 
will be earned in case in cash and that cash can be utilized for purchase of its own shares and other fund is like dividend equalization fund workman's compensation fund workman compensation fund uh, the free portion can be utilized now uh, the benefit of buying back uh, you must know that why the company will buy back those shares the number one the company may have huge cash in its balance sheet but the company may not have a good project in their hand where they can utilize that cash in that case the company may decide to give back a portion of those cash to the shareholders by buying back its existing shares from the market for example i'm telling you like in india the indian it companies like infosys tcs wipro and acl technology they have billions of dollars of cash in their balance sheet and they uh, sometimes they are uh, taking the advantage of utilizing those cashes by acquiring different uh, there are similar companies either from india or from outside also and and another uh, glaring example I'll, I'll give you the reliance industry limited they have billions of dollars of cash in their balance sheet but uh, they uh, have uh, uh, massively uh, utilize their cash in that uh, in their telecom business you know the reliance geo they have started last three years back and they have now taken the maximum number of uh, customers in india and uh, why how they have done this because they have huge cash in their hand in the balance sheet and they have not gone to the route of buying back of shares but in some cases you know in it companies like wipro uh, tcs and those uh, infosys infosys just a few days back a uh, few months back only they have finished their buying back of shares and you know uh, that uh, another very important point that buyback they do that they they want to improve the valuation of the shares of the company and they increase the value of shares and by that way they increase the market capital of the shares in the uh, uh, secondary market how i'll give you an example that hindustan unilever limited they bought back their shares in 2013 april at that time their price of the shares were only 497 rupees and on the next day when they declared that buying back of shares will be will be happened in the company and on the next day 20 percent will appreciate the value of share the price of share in the market and at that time the price was 594 you know rupees 594 594 minus 497 and uh, this equal to 97 divided by 497 into 100 this comes to 19.5 percent that is about 20 percent return the uh, uh, shareholders they have got on the next day only after declaration of buy buying back that is through buyback earning per share return on capital employed return on net worth all the things will be increased in the future because the number of outstanding shares in the market is becoming less and in that way the demand is high but supply is less in that way the share price will be becoming more and you know that in 2013 when the uh, hindu sun unilever limited they declared buying back of share and uh, thus few days back its price was only only 230 to 270 rupees i know i have that experience i i can remember on that time the price of share only 232 270 278 like that it varies but on the day of declaration when the market had the got had got the psychology the psychological impact market got and on the day of declaration of buyback it became 497 and on the next day it became 594 and you will be wondered that 52 week now in 2020 the 52 week high is 2614 2614 is the 20 uh, it is the 52 year uh, 52 week high price and 52 week low price is 1656 only and now if you compare with the high 52 week high that is 2614 and the uh, price of Hindustan Unilever Limited on the date of declaring buyback 497 that is 2614 
minus 497 is equal to 2117 rupees and in percentage if you calculate divided by 497 into 100 it comes to 425.9 percent that is 426 percent it has given return in the market now very clearly i i want to make you clear that key in 2013 the price of the share was 497 on the day of declaration of buying back. Now, the in 52 week high price has come to 2614, which, which has been 426 percent in within seven years only from 2013 April to 2020. I am telling, I am talking about that is 426 percent return this share has given due to buyback of share. Then it is clear that by, by buyback through or through buyback of share the value of the share increases in the market and the total capitalization also increases that this is the very important point of buying back of share next point it is a tax effective for the shareholders also and next i'll tell you when there is an undervaluation of share in the market it is undervalued but the company knows that there is a huge, huge potentiality in future and in that case the other rival companies from outside they also try to take over the bid of the shares and they can take the maximum share from the market in that case to protect the company from outside rivals the company also goes for buying back of share you know recently due to covid 19 coronavirus pandemic the government of india has taken a very good decision fdi rule they have changed that the countries in uh, around the, our uh, india the land they are sharing like china particularly pakistan bangladesh bhutan nepal myanmar uh, and the, if they want to invest in india they have to take special permission from the government of india otherwise they can invest their money in india in any in, in, in any company because you know due to the pandemic situation of coronavirus the share market has down and the share then we uh, purchased at very low price by the uh, rival companies they can come inside india they can take over maximum share of the company and they can acquire the company in that way in that case main rival of india is china to protect to block china to invest in india the government of india has changed the rule of fdi and that's why i'm telling you buying back is very one important route that the company itself will buy back its own share to prevent outsiders to take the chance of lower, lowering down the shares due to different situation economic uh, situation in the market and like i'll tell you another uh, point that company if they have huge cash in their hand it is a very important way to give back their cash to the shareholders i can give you one very good example in united states the apple you know the very important company apple uh, by was forced by its influential shareholders to distribute more cash to shareholders through buyback previously it was seen in us but nowadays this kind of shareholder activism has begun in india also that is apple had shown the way how to give the cash return to their uh, existing shareholders and the same route same way indian companies are also uh, following and last but not the least i'll tell you that number of shares that is that their stake in the company in this way and the promoters you know they can have 75 percent total uh, uh, shares outstanding shares of the company in their hands and when in case of hul we have followed that they uh, uh, declared the buying back of share for 22.52 percent from the market when they had already 52.48 percent in their hand because uh, if they get 22.52 percent from the market then their total holding may be 75 percent and it is the permissible limit you know in case of the company the promoters they can have in their hands and in this way the promoters they can have their number of shares in their hands 75 percent and when the company's valuation will be a good uh, good and they will get the benefit of this and as well as the shareholders also will get the return of their some portion of cash from the balance sheet and another important advantage of buying back i'll tell that that it is an alternative way of capital reduction without taking the permission 
from the court or the company law board or national company uh, law tribunal and lastly i can say that buying back of share very is very important in case of a company when the company has too much cash in their books of account but they have uh, very few projects in their hand or they have very few opportunities to invest in their uh, business uh, in that case in other business in that case it may be a very good uh, way uh, uh, to uh, buy their own shares so that they can get the benefit in future and this is the overall picture of buying back uh, of shares by a company and uh, uh, students uh, if you like this uh, video please share this video uh, more and subscribe this channel uh, as, uh, uh, as as much as possible thank you